Hey Choices for Life TV, Mark Martin here and I've been invited to the UK's largest theatre, the Edinburgh Playhouse, to interview this man, it's Keith Jack. You and I used to do the old Choices for Life tour, the Arena yep. tour, the SECC, the Edinburgh's Highlands Centre, all over the country and look at you now, you're in Joseph. I know, that was a couple of years ago wasn't it? Uh, yeah it was brilliant wasn't it? What were your th memories of the, the old tour? Uh, I think the just the general fun on the tour as well, like mm. staying in the hotels yeah. and having such a laugh. Uh, the food, the catering bit was yeah, good. Yeah, good. Uh, and just the general buzz from uh, the, the kids that were coming to watch it, like they, they enjoyed it so much. And uh, I used to love, uh, was it Family Fortunes? That's that used right, to be? yeah. Obviously I didn't get to take part in that, but I'm backstage cheering away show. And I was like, I know the answer to that. Yeah, that was it. It was all good, good fun back in the day. And obviously now you're touring and packing out arenas all over the country. And Joseph, yeah. how's that been? For you. Yeah, it's been great. It's uh, it's good to finally don the coat, as they say. Yeah, I want a shot of this coat, by the way. Oh, you can get a shot I'll later. A shot it's just been clean, so I right. hope we don't smell. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's been great, and to come home this week to Edinburgh is, uh, is obviously a big bonus, uh, especially before Christmas. And my sister just had a little nephew as well. Oh, a couple weeks bless! Ago, so it's nice to kind of be home around family. I saw that on Twitter actually. Don Keith Jack on yeah. Twitter, by the way, if you want to follow him. You also, you're doing a, a theatre school, is that right? Yeah, called Gate Laldy. Tell us all Couldn't about Couldn't get that. more Scottish than that. Uh, yeah, it started about a few years ago, about three years ago now. Uh, and it was kind of a, I always wanted to do this like after the programme. I said I'd love to kind of teach what I've learned from people like, like Andrew Lloyd Webber and John Barrowman and Denise and everyone and kind of bring that back to Edinburgh. Because when I was younger, I was kind of growing up and anything that I went to, I always found that my teachers who taught me to do anything like amateur wise were maybe about, 65, 70 year old right. and industry moves so much and it's so quick all the time there's new singing techniques, new dance techniques and I always said I'd love to come back to Edinburgh and do a school and just happily did one workshop uh, one week and it was great and I thought let's do another one, did another workshop and then suddenly the workshops became a school and then they're constant all the time, we do them during the summer schools, the Easters, uh, the October weekends, everything like that and we've got a really good group of kids, about 40, 50 kids that come each time uh, and they love it, they've been to see probably every show here, we've had all the casts, most of the cast come and do workshops, mm -hmm. we've had like, Errol Carpenter came to do a workshop, uh, the last cast of Phantom, we've had uh, lots of support from Graham Norton and Lee, got Lee to do a little bit for us as well, so it's been great and it's kind of just keeps growing and growing and getting better and better. And you're putting a bit more red back into the community now aren't you by doing that? Yeah and it's great to kind of like that we did a show in the summer there and I, it was great to kind of like sit back and I, I called the show and made did all the cues in that mm -hmm. backstage and it was kind of just, it was an amazing buzz to kind of watch these kids like excel and, mm -hmm. and give them the chance to do what I get to do every day. Uh, and it's a great buzz and great for the kids to kind of get a chance to do that. And Choices for Life obviously was a big help and, and you know when you came off the reality TV show that you did you were straight on stage with us on tour. Yeah, yeah. So how was that? Just going straight from the TV show on stage in front of thousands and thousands of people all over the country. It was it was strange because uh, like obviously because the TV program it had like 11, 11 million people, but mm -hmm. you don't see eleven million yeah. people. So when you actually get out there and see like three thousand people in Glasgow, eyes, yeah, like, oh. exactly, it's, it's a different kind of feeling. But it was great and it was amazing to kind of perform and just to to be able to sing and to to get like I say the reaction and they just love it. We had them do Mexican waves and everything. That was we? great fun, wasn't it? What was it like for you growing up then? Because you used to work in a supermarket yep. and then you were moving into musical theatre. What was it like? Did you have any pressure for any of your mates maybe, I don't know, having a go at you like, oh, you're never going to make it as a singer. What was it like growing up with the pressure of having that in the background? It was it was hard. Like, I remember being, like, say, very young and I always wanted to be a singer. My granddad, who was uh, who passed away when I was about 15, mm -hmm. uh, was my kind of biggest inspiration in life and he got me into being... To, to sing and he started me off with good Scottish songs like Donald Where's Your Trousers nice. and all that kind of stuff. Donald Where's uh, Your Trousers. <laughs> so actually my first time I ever sung uh, live was in, uh, apart from like around my family, was in Australia. I made my first debut when I was six right. and my granddad got me up on stage to sing Donald Where's Your Trousers <laughs> in a little kilt. Uh, so he kind of got me into it and I kept singing but obviously when you're in primary school, it's fine, you can sing away mm. and everyone's fine. It's when you get to high school. Yeah, <clears throat> teen years. It's when you get to high school that everyone kind of like, oh, here's the gay boy that likes to sing. And it's like, well, I like to sing, but I still play football and like still yeah, exactly. the same. But I want to be a singer, I want to do musical theatre. And yeah, there was a, a lot of times that I did get jumped and got mm. bullied and all that kind of stuff. Mm. But 
I was one of the people that my granddad, when he brought me up, told me, look, look you can, if you smile at the world, it smiles back at you. Love that. So, if, so you just go out and I kind of just forgot about it. Yeah, and I used to go home and I used to have blue, black and blue eyes and burst lips and stuff. But then mum would be like, oh, like, look, we'll go to the school and all that kind of stuff. And it just kind of, I think it made me stronger as a person mm -hmm. and kind of set me up for what I'm like now. Uh, and I just kind of forgot about it. And it's strange that when I came out of the program, mm -hmm. I went out uh, with my best friend in Edinburgh. We actually had to sit in a nightclub of all places mm -hmm. uh, to do like a press thing. And uh, I just went to meet people and there was people from my old school that used to bully me. Ah. And they were like, oh, Keith, we always knew you would do it. And shaking well, your you. hand and everything like that. And it was like, no, you never like it's kind yeah. of it was my time to kind of smile and say like yeah. all the all the stuff you put me through and now I can come back and just kind of laugh at the so fact you've got that, that satisfaction of beating the bullies. Then. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. Like, I think you have to, especially for boys, it's a lot harder for mm -hmm. boys. I think if you really, really want it, you can't let anything get in your way mm -hmm. uh, and you will get a lot of stick for it. But it, the, the rewards from it after are so much better. And you've got to follow your dreams. Like yeah, exactly. Said. Exactly. Exactly. So So as a performer, obviously, you know, we're not going to dress this up in any other way. You get to go to press launches, as you mentioned, yeah. and then you get to go partying and stuff. You know, alcohol's around you quite a bit when you're doing these things. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you tempted or how, do, as a performer, obviously, you've got to think about performance all the time. Have you ever had a night where you've gone absolutely crazy on the tiles or do you have to watch what you're doing? You have to watch uh, exactly what you're doing. And you've got to keep obviously your voice in peak. Yeah, There's exactly. There's a lot about smoking and stuff as well. Again, it's around you. Yeah. But do you do it? Well, it's funny. I don't do it, but in in this kind of industry, it's a big thing. Like a lot of people smoke in this industry. Uh, so you kind of just stay away from it really. There's a few people that smoke on this tour mm -hmm. uh, and obviously that's their choice, but no, I was never a smoker. My granddad died of lung cancer. Mm -hmm. So that's another big fact to why I'll never yeah. ever touch so a cigarette. It's my granddad. So, yeah, you know, it's, I'm a, not exactly it's a big thing. It's like, a, I never want to touch a cigarette. And he never smoked in his life, which yeah. is funny. Uh, but I never ever want to touch a cigarette. And drugs as well, that's another thing I've seen to stay away from to keep your squeaky clean image. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no drugs, no nothing really. So um, I want you to tell me now about what you're going to be doing in the future. You've got the theatre school, you're doing the Joseph tour just now, you've got Panto just around the corner. Panto, right? yep, in Whitley Bay, mm -hmm. uh, which will be my first English Panto, mm -hmm. which will be very strange because it's so different to Scottish Pantos. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a big tradition. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, God. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that joke was going to come in. I had to get in there, bat it out. <laughs> so Scotland is very traditional, very storytelling, and English Pantos are very different. So it'll be, it'll be nice to kind of see what... See what the difference is. And you're on performing stage. with Jennifer Metcalf. Yeah, from Hollywood's Mercedes, Mercedes, who put a smile on your face yeah, earlier when I mentioned it. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, um, obviously 2013 as well, you're going to be working in 2013. Yep. What have you got planned? Uh, for a new album. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually, funny enough, working on a single which I'm going to record on Monday, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm really excited about. And a new album. And I think it looks like I'm coming back to this for another three months after the oh, year. Oh, fantastic. So, to tour again, because I'm having such a great time and it's a great cast. and. It's a lead role, it's a great lead role to be a part of. A big story, it's the longest, I think it's the longest tour in history, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. And like I say, I, I love it and it's a great job. Do you ever pinch yourself sometimes and think, just a few years ago I was working in a supermarket, look at me now, I'm, I'm packing out the Edinburgh Playhouse, the biggest theatre in the UK every night. Yeah, it is It is strange and it was that thing I got, I get a little bit nervous like sometimes on an open night, mm -hmm. like you get the butterflies. Do you but, really? Yeah, it's good to have nerves. Nerves yeah. are a good thing because it makes you concentrate and focus. Mm -hmm. But on Monday, I've never been so nervous because mm -hmm. there's a whole bit where there's the prologue and everything comes and then the narrator clicks and I turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just that the nerves that went through me before I turned uh, to, to, my home, to be singing in front of my home crowd, isn't it? So it's great and it's lovely to be home. And like you say, it's, it's great to finally get to wear this thing. Wow, I want a shot of that. I want a shot of the coat. I can almost fall asleep in this. Good night, everybody. <laughs> it's well, sushi. Wow. You could be Joseph. It's what? Can I be Joseph? Well, I've not got a six pack like you. <laughs> That's the other thing I was going to ask you about fitness in general. You've got to keep fit, haven't you? Yep. Uh, I got the gym. Well, I try and go to the gym every day. Uh -huh. uh, but obviously, we have 10 shows a week, so mm -hmm. it's quite hard to go every day. 
Uh, but as you see, there's somewhere in my room that I do have stage weights, right. which are always handy. But yeah, try and eat healthy, eat lots of fruit and mm -hmm. drink lots of water. Like you say, that you need to be healthy all the time. Like I can't be going about eating burgers and that all the time, wearing a loincloth. Whereas myself being on the radio, that's what I do sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time. I try to keep myself in good condition for Choices for Life, of course. Now, the other thing I was going to ask, have you got any messages to anybody who would like to get into musical theatre and maybe one day wear this coat like I am now? <laughs> <laughs> I think if, uh, for me, I would say if you, for just in general life, like if you want something that badly, you have to work for it and you have to put yourself out there as much as you can. You have to go to anything you want, especially like singing. You have to go to as many auditions as you can, go to karaoke competitions, go to anything because you never know who's going to be sitting around or who's watching. Uh, and just don't let people stop you. Like, even there was one time when my family said, mm, is this really what you want to do? Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, I'm, this is what I want to do and I'm going to do it. So even like my family kind of questioned it for a little bit and you just can't let anything stop you in life. I think if you want something that badly, just go for it, put all your heart and soul into it and 99.9% .9 of the time you normally get it. Just follow your dreams is what you're telling everyone. Yeah. yeah, didn't know what to say it that cheesy. Yeah, but... <laughs> well, I'll say it then. Follow your dreams and you can be like Keith one day. Now, just one other thing, if we want to keep up to date with what you're up to, obviously being a Choices for Life veteran, we can yes, say. Yes, yes. Have you got a website that everybody can keep up uh, to date with? Go to keithchat.co.uk or you can follow me on Twitter at Keith Jack. Excellent. Keith, I'm going to steal your jacket. You're Let's not see. allowed to steal oh, the jacket. Oh, the dressers are becoming... Oh,